I'm joined by Eos brother Tal and Dan Dan the super fan. He's here as mm -hmm. well. Good to see. What's it like seeing your little baby brother talking about things like sex and things <sighs> and being on the telly? Do you know what? We've lived together for a long time now, just us three brothers. Right. So it's kind of we've all gone into adulthood together. So it's something that you know I'm kind of used to. Right. So he, he comes home and tells you all about it. Well, yeah, we all tell much. each other, yeah. of course, of yeah. course. So maybe we should just film that. You baby, three guys yeah. <laughs> talking. <laughs> but how do you think he's coming across? I think he's very much being himself. Um, you're, I guess you're always going to get people that, that, that don't like someone. Um, but I'm very proud of the way he's, he's carried himself and the way he's treated everyone. And I think, yeah, I think he's doing a good job, yeah. And what about your parents? Are they OK with all of this, especially now as it gets to the stage where, you know, things start happening? Yeah. Squelching, as we call yeah. it. Squelching <laughs> yeah, I think... I think before he went in, I think it was something we all kind of discussed and right. kind of came to terms with beforehand. So it, it doesn't come as a huge shock. Obviously, it's, I guess it's difficult in some aspects for my parents to see, but, you know, oh, it's, gosh, it's the know. name of the game. I can imagine, yeah. you know, yeah. I was a mum myself, I'd be like, yeah. oh, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. um, would you ever do it? No, I don't think it's Why for not? Me. Why would you not do it? I don't know. We're very different people. I kind of like to... I'm not so... I don't enjoy the attention as much, I guess. Right. Yeah, and it's okay. just one of those things that I just wouldn't... And I'm in a lovely relationship as well. So, so you don't need to? No, you don't, no. You don't actually need no, to do not it. Why do, you love. He, why do you think he did it? I think he's very much looking for love. Right. Um, and I also think that he he likes an adventure and he's he likes to try new things. And I think it kind of just came hand in hand and it was something that... He, he doesn't like to shy away from new opportunities and things, so I think he just kind of... And the, the fame thing also, you think, was maybe part of that? <sighs> I mean, I guess it comes with it. That's right. never something that he was looking for directly, right. but, I mean, being a model and kind of being in that industry, it was, it was kind of the next step for him, I think. So you never thought about talking about... Because you're obviously a very intelligent, articulate Thank you. young man. Thank you. But you didn't think of... No, I mean... Talking out of it because he was... No, I guess I discussed my my um, reservations with him and I think that that he he understood that but again he just really wanted to take yeah. the opportunity and and go for it really sure Dan, yeah. what do you what do you think of well it's them? interesting I've been speaking to EL's mum who's yeah. here behind the scenes this morning and I said look when he went in what was your advice to him and she said well I said just be yourself and also if this sure. is something you want to do so I don't think it's like families ever actively encourage their Ooh, kids or their brothers or sisters family, yeah. Yeah, to, do that. to go into a show like Love Island. <laughs> yeah, but at yeah. the same time, you've got to be supportive. And I think we do forget sometimes how difficult it is for the families of the contestants on these shows who, of course, haven't chosen to go in themselves, mm. have the whole country making judgments about yes. their children, which obviously we've done. But I think with EL in particular, my view is that this is only going to be good for him. You know, he's a male model. All of a sudden, he's the most talked about male model in the country, Lorraine. He's got that incredible Hebrew name, so everyone now remembers exactly who he is. And he's going to be in huge demand to do lots of modelling work once he comes out, yeah. if nothing else. And maybe we'll now come out with a girlfriend as well. Exactly. Right. So, so it's, there's no losers in this situation? I don't think there are. I think it's a lot harder for the female As I was just going to say about the girls. For example, yeah. Rosie, who was a lawyer, who's given up a career, yeah. then the reality is she will be judged professionally for being on That's a show really like bad, that. That's really bad, isn't it, that we judge the women more than we judge the, the men? Yeah, and, but, you know. but, I, but I think we also have judged Alex, who's the NHS doctor, who, oh. who left the, the practice in Wales. So I think for EL, it was very, very different. He's a top model, he's a free spirit, he's very open about himself, his body, he's not ashamed for having sex on television. Then actually... It's win-win. Mm. And what's interesting, actually, is, is your younger sister is at school, isn't yeah, she? she is. And And E.L.'s mum said she's been the least affected by this because, of course, you know, that generation, Lorraine, this is all totally normal. I know exactly. They post no, it all true. on Instagram, no, you're, you know? You're, you're right there. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or not. It probably isn't a good but thing, but I it's understand. definitely how they live their lives I'll tell you what, days. he's very lucky to have a brother like you. Thank you. I really like you. Thanks Thank so you. much for coming Pleasure. in. It's Pleasure. been Pleasure really good to me. talk to you.